Okay, let's take a look at the distance formula and the midpoint formula. <clears throat> the distance formula most of you have seen before. It's just a variation of the Pythagorean theorem. It's a difference in the x's all squared plus difference in the y's all squared. All underneath your square root. So you want to take your first x and your second x and subtract them and that's what you would do here. Then you want to do the same type of thing with your y's. Take your two y values and subtract them, put them in here. So you're going to end up having a 12 minus a 7, all squared, plus you're going to have a negative 5 minus a 5. So 12 minus 7 is 5, so we get a 5 squared, which you know is 25. Subtract here, you get a negative 10, but a negative 10 squared is a negative 10 times a negative 10, which is 100. So you, you uh, if I can talk here, go 25 plus 100, you get 125. Now some of you might be tempted to go ahead and give me the decimal approximation of that answer. But we are looking for exact answers here. We're not looking for decimal approximations from your calculator. So if it doesn't work out to be a nice neat number, because if it was, uh, say, the square root of 121, we would say that's 11. But square root of 125 doesn't work out nice and neat. So then you want to look for factors of 125 that are perfect squares. 125 is really 25 times 5. Remember that the square root of your um, 25 ends up coming out in front as a 5. Now this 5 to the first, we didn't do anything with, so it still stays underneath your root. Let's take a look at midpoint. Midpoint is really just the average of the x's and average of the y's. So to find your midpoint, you take your two x-coordinates, add them together, divide by 2. Take your two y-coordinates, add them together, divide by 2. And uh, it's a funny-looking add sign there. We'll have to switch that, so that's a plus sign here. We'll add these together, divide by 2, and so then we get this. And let's see, that's a funny looking number there. That should be 0. Sorry about that. So we end up getting this for our answer. Now, could you have written this differently? Yes, you could have gone a 9.5 comma 0 and gotten the same answer. And then also have it be acceptable.